Hi everyone, this is Kirsa Brenner back with Beach Balance Life and I'm here for another pick a card reading of conscious communication and bringing you into a beach frame of mind. And what I wanted to do today for the reading is I wanted to do what chakra is currently out of balance and what do you need to do to get it back into balance and what area of life is causing that. So there's three different points we're gonna focus on. And um, if you could just do me a favor before we get started, if you could subscribe and like this channel, it'd be really great. It really helps with the algorithm and YouTube to get my videos noticed and spread more positivity. And so we have seven piles, no surprise, since there's seven chakras that we typically work with. Obviously there's more, but today we're gonna focus on the, the basic seven. And we have group one, which is the amethyst stone. We have group two, which is the Amazonite. Group three, which is the moonstone. Group four, it's Amazonite raw. Group five, the Lemurian crystal. Group six, the quartz crystal. And group seven, the rose quartz. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with group one. All right, group one, ah, <laughs> group one, you are, we're focusing on your base chakra. So the base chakra is also known as the root chakra. The root chakra is your security, your foundation, your safety, what makes you feel grounded, planting roots. It is the first chakra and it's, it's based on the, um, the bottom of your spine. So let's see, I'm going to see what particular area this is focusing on, what's throwing your root chakra out of balance, okay? All right, so we have the the ninth house and we have Pisces. So I feel that perhaps you travel a lot or you had a lot of travel planned and or even more of a metaphysical spirituality journey and you have a lot of ideas of what you wanna express and for some reason you don't feel grounded because of this. I feel that maybe you need to build up a little bit more confidence and stronger foundation in your value, your self value. And I think that's what's really going to help realize where this is coming from. So I will go ahead and pick some supporting advice from the Moonology deck. And we have nothing is yet set in stone. So this, this is perfect. So with these two cards, what I'm hearing right now is with these two cards, your base chakra is off kilter because nothing's set in stone. So you don't feel grounded. I feel like perhaps you've been spending too much time out on the road or traveling and, or just not really taking time to ground yourself. So I feel that this is more in your imagination and your emotions where you need to ground yourself. So the best way to do that would be, you know, get out in nature, just go for a walk, maybe sit down, you know, today I went out for a walk and I was in the park and I just found a tree and I just leaned up against it and let it support me and just sat there drinking my coffee and just really appreciating nature and the strength of that tree. And I was imagining the roots as it was down in the soil and how, how deep those roots were. And, um, and so sometimes when you are definitely, you know, awakened and spiritual, it's easy to live with your head in the clouds too, especially with this Pisces energy. I get it. I'm a Pisces moon. Oh my gosh. And, um, you know, in the ninth house of spirituality, travel and teaching and learning. So I think that really you just need to balance out the the earthly plane and the spiritual plane and and get back into your get back into come down to earth <laughs> group one time for you to just come down to earth get grounded again and you're going to be fine so i'm going to pull a beach balance life card for any additional ways of how you can do this ah the cards are kind of popping out Okay, new direction. So the new direction card came out. So definitely, I feel like you just maybe been tossing around a lot of ideas, a lot of things you want to learn and teach. And at the same time, I, you know, it, it's time for you to balance it out and take a new direction. And the new direction is to get grounded again. Okay. 
And that's the advice I have for you, group one. Let me pull one of these cards just for fun to see if there's any other supporting advice that you need in addition on how to balance out your root chakra. Time out, so yes. You need to take time out for solitude, so you need to get grounded again. You've been spreading your energy too much, so it's time to take a new direction and get grounded. Do some meditation and take some time in solitude, and I know that we're all doing that right now, so embrace it, you know? Remember, your mind is half of the battle of where we are in this situation, so as long as you can control that, and, and take advantage of this blessing of this timeout that we all have, that you are definitely going to be grounded again. And also the root chakra, any chakra that's out of balance, but the root chakra especially is your self value. And that is where everything kind of builds up. That's why it's the base, it's the foundation. So you need to get this back in alignment so you can start building you know, the rest of your chakras and make sure that, that you are balanced at keeping everything in balance, okay? Subscribe and um, like, comment below. Let me know how this resonated. I'm curious to see if you've just been having a hard time balancing out being too much of a teacher or a student and not being in that reciprocal balance with Pisces. See, it's Pisces, you know, you have the yin and the yang. It's all about balance, the two fish, the emotions. So. That is my advice to you. It's time to take a new direction, time out, and then nothing, remember nothing set in stone. So you have the, you have the ability to get grounded. Okay? All right, group number one, there you go. Thanks for stopping by. Okay. Group number two, this is the Amazonite. So let's see what your chakra is out of balance right now and what area of a life so your third eye chakra is out of balance okay so let's see what's causing this so your third eye is your intuition and it is everything to do with your inner guidance your that you know that just the visualization the creativity and so this is blocked so let's see what area of life is blocking this for you and then we're going to figure out how to unblock it Okay, so we have the eighth house and then we have Capricorn. So the eighth house is basically, it's the house where you have secrets, you have investments, you have a lot of dreams. It's very Piscean energy and um, it also rules death and transformation and you know metamorphosis. And so I feel that maybe you've been wanting to manifest something or really just you know, you have a plan of what you want to do, but this Capricorn Saturn energy is really just making you feel like things are slow as molasses in winter time. And you're getting frustrated. And so you're not trusting your inner guidance that you're on the right path and that you are actually exactly right where you need to be at this very moment in time. Okay, so let me pull a Moonology card and see. I feel like you've been really wanting to, wanting to manifest something and you're visualizing and you're getting frustrated and so you're over, you're over emphasizing on it. You just need to set it, which you already have, and you need to forget it. And just, it's just like cruise control or autopilot on a sailboat. That's what you need to do, okay? So adjustments are required. So yes, I feel like you're overworking your third eye chakra right now and that's why it's out of balance. You need to get back into balance. Realize that just because this earth energy and Saturn, the taskmaster of time and hardcore concrete, it's just not manifesting and, and these investments that you're making are not producing fast enough and you need to realize that you can't rush a good thing. You can't rush planting a seed and expect it to just germinate the next day and be a beautiful, lovely bouquet of peonies. And that's what I'm getting, peonies. So we're going to pull a Beach Balance Life card. Woo! I, I just have my artist. Uh, she's working on my cards right now. And oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It's going to take a little bit of time, but 
Woo, I am so excited to have artwork for my beautiful cards. Okay, so let's see, what other advice do we need for pile number two? Okay, turn up the heat. So, this sounds like it's just opposite. Turn up the heat is when you're sailing on your boat and you want to go faster, you point up towards the wind so you can fill the sails and you start to move forward faster, okay? So, you've been doing that too much but not turning up the heat and trusting the universe. You need to tr turn up the heat in your faith and the foundation that you are exactly right where you need to be at this point, point in time because you need to make that adjustment. Otherwise, when you try to manifest something and you just keep focusing on it so much and you're just visualizing it and you're going into all this like dreamland world and, and transformation, how you just really, really, really want it and you really have to have it, but at the same time, you're blocking it because you're trying too hard to manifest it. So you need to you need to trust the universe and make adjustments into just setting it and forgetting it, okay? I'll pull one more card for you. Also, please comment below and let me know how this is resonating. This is the first time I've done a chakra reading. So, you know, shout out to one of my uh, one of my subscribers. She so she left a comment, Beach Girly. And, um, you know, she, I was actually thinking about doing this reading and she suggested doing a uh, chakra reading. So here I am. Okay, so here we go. All right, the sulky in her skin. So this is talking about someone who is, someone who is comfortable in their own skin and trusts that everything is working out as it needs to be and unfolding. And that is exactly what I'm hearing for you. And it goes hand in hand with this third eye chakra and the Saturn, okay? You need to really just understand that you're in the right place at the right time. So trust the universe. Light that, light that fire of trusting the universe and that faith again. I feel like you've lost your faith by trying so hard to manifest what is what is this is it love is it new relationship i mean is it money is it self-worth or is it just opening up your third eye chakra more so you can be a little bit more in touch with your own intuition and your own inner voice but just realize just because it feels slow you're on the right path it's going to unfold how it's supposed to and I have full faith that you're in the right place at the right time. So there you have it, pile number two. Best of luck, comment below, like and subscribe my channel because that's the only way that YouTube will pay attention to any of the algorithm. And I do this to help people and make people feel like they're on the right path, you know, and give them advice because I, I, I look for the same thing. So, all right, pile three. We have the solar plexus chakra. So this is your third chakra that is basically like right underneath your rib cage, okay? And this is saying, what's block, blocking right now is, so you might have a lot of lack of confidence and courage and you're not feeling a lot of harmony and and I feel like people are draining your energy. Usually when you this chakra is blocked, your energy is being drained by somebody around you. So let's see what area of life and what influence astrologically is affecting this for you. All right, so we have your fourth house of Scorpio. So I feel that this is coming from your home life and um, and there might be some really, there might be some secrets around you that you are sensing and people are draining you. Either you're holding on to secrets or, um, I just, I don't know, Scorpio is, you know, is death and transformation. It's very, very deep and it's, it's passionate. Um, you know, it's a water sign. So I feel that maybe you've been in your emotions too much at home and or where you find your home foundation. Home is where the heart is, you know? So I feel like maybe you've been very emotional in your heart and at home, your physical home where you're actually sleeping and and it's draining you. There's something around you draining you. So let's get advice on how to release this energy. You know, obviously with any of these chakra readings, 
a lot of the best way to really really align chakras you don't have to go pay hundreds of dollars to go to a retreat or anything like that literally dancing dancing and yoga yoga is amazing it's great for stretching and dancing man who doesn't feel like a million bucks after you've been dancing and shaking it all around and getting that energy up and going all right so a time for healing so yes i feel that you've been um your confidence has been torn down some something has to do with your home life and it's um it's you know just emotionally draining you and and so it's time for you to take time out to heal yourself and heal i actually feel like you should heal your your heart chakra as well which is the fourth this is the third but they all build in in succession right so you need to you need to get your confidence back and i will pull a beach balance life card for you to see any more information and don't forget to comment below Woo oh success popped out and then also capricorn energy popped up popped out so okay and then give it a chance oh my gosh a lot of stuff going out for you so um what i'm seeing is it's time for you to give yourself a chance and heal this because you're going to have success but it's but with the capricorn energy it's literally going to take a little bit of time and um this is actually spelled wrong that's why i'm hide, hiding the card <laughs> um but anyway the uh my, i'm getting my own beach balance life cards made i have a really great artist and she's so awesome and it's gonna be a literally i'm so stoked it's gonna be awesome but anyway overall you are going to have success it's going to take some hard work to get your confidence back but you just need to give your own self a chance and you need to get rid of this toxic deep emotion that's happening because think about like a scorpio scorpio is like all of a sudden it just goes and stings you with its tail and it literally like can kill creatures with it. It's so poisonous. And it, you know, I feel like you're around somebody or someone in your home life that is emotionally unstable and it's draining you. So you need to take time to heal up for yourself. Give yourself a chance and stop putting other people's first, you know, stop walking on eggshells because it's going to happen with this Capricorn energy and you're going to have success. And I'll pull one more of these cards just to emphasize the message. Comment below, let me know what this is. I really hope that, you know, I mean, honestly, right now with everything that's going on in the world, I can't imagine people who are at home with families, you know, how toxic energy can just breed very quickly. I mean, it's, you know. Okay, so the crane bag. So this is, this is t saying, so if you want to look at the card, basically it is saying declutter and you need to take time to meditate to get grounded and you have a choice. So you're going to have success. You, your choice is to give yourself a chance first and stop letting this person drain you. Okay. All right. There you have it, group number three. Let me know what it is. Thanks for stopping by. Best of luck. Bye. Okay, group number four, the Amazonite rough cut. Okay, let's see what we have. It's the heart chakra. Okay, so the heart chakra is one of the most popular chakras, that and the, the third eye. This is your fourth chakra and this is your heart chakra. This is, it's green. Like, so whenever you are feeling out of balance and you have, you know, compassion or you, you don't have enough compassion or you're out of, you know, you, this could also be a codependent relationship where you're, you have too much compassion and you're, you're out of balance. Like everything is black and white. Like you always like yin and yang, right? You have to balance it. And so when it's out of balance, it's block, it's blocked. So you're block, you're being blocked right now. Let's see what area of your life astrologically with these dice and what house it's focusing in on and what's, what's the cause of this heart chakra blocking okay so it's a mental thing wow okay so we have the 12th house um and then we have uh is that 
I can't remember what sign that is. <laughs> All right, so with this Pisces energy in the 12th house, you're definitely in your own little dream world and you're kind of on another planet. And I feel like you might be, you might be escaping a little bit and it's blocking what you're really feeling and what your heart wants to say to you. So I think that you need to get out of your head a little bit and out of your emotions and get back into your heart and really feel. and. There's some really good yoga poses to open your heart chakra, but you know, you can also listen to like some like chakra cleansing music videos on YouTube. But let's see what advice I have for you to get your heart chakra back up and spinning in the right direction. So you can radiate that love and that sunshine and that creativity and healthy relationships. Okay, so hold your vision. All right, so what I'm seeing is with hold your vision and the heart chakra, the 12th house in Pisces, basically what I'm seeing is you've had, you have an idea in your mind how you want things to go and that's fine, but you're being overtaken by your emotions with this Piscean energy. And so you need to keep your focus, but you need to just also trust the universe that everything's unfolding for you exactly how it's meant to be. And you're in the right place at the right time. So stop thinking about it, get out of your head. And I'm gonna pull a Beach Balance Life card. Ooh, this one popped out right away. One leg at a time. So you wanna take one leg at a time of the race. You're, you're on a race course or you have a destination you're trying to get to and between one port to one port is one leg. The next port to the next port is another leg. So you wanna do one leg at a time. You need to hold your vision and stop trying to manifest this and be so hard on yourself mentally. Whatever you're trying to manifest, you just need to trust in your heart and your heart's gonna lead you down the right path, okay? You're not, you don't need to overthink this and you need to get out of your emotions a little bit. So I'll pull another card. Also, please comment below. Let me know what this is. I'm really, I really, really like to see, I'm curious. I mean, is it love? Is it, is it an idea? Is it, it's a dream. I feel like it's definitely a dream that you've had and maybe you're losing heart in it because it's not manifesting enough because it's so hardcore on your mind. All right. This is what the card that popped out. Kanko Manakni. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Yeah. Okay, so with this card, this is saying that, you know, you have the wisdom and the divine intuition to manifest this dream that you're going for, but you just need to open up your heart and trust in the universe that you at, listen, baby steps, whatever this is, it's a huge dream. It's been on your mind for a very long time and it's going to manifest. Don't lose heart. Keep, hold your vision and understand that you have the ability to really, really make this happen, but you can't make it happen overnight. Okay. You got this. You got this. Group four. How funny. You know, you're group four and the heart chakra is the fourth group and the fourth chakra. So that's a, you know, that's a foundation. So trust the universe. You're in the right place at the right time. The universe always has your back. So just hold, keep, keep holding your vision, keep focused on your goal because you have the tools what it takes. Okay. 
comment and uh, let me know what this is. Also like and subscribe my channel. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm to keep my videos in suggested videos so I can keep helping people for free. All right, we're moving on to group five. We have the Lemarian Crystal, my favorite. Always have to give it a kiss. I have a strong connection with that crystal. So we, we have the crown chakra. So your crown chakra is blocked. So you're not in touch with your divine guidance. I feel honestly, group five, I feel like you're, de you're going through some sort of depression or you feel very low and unmotivated and you feel like this thumb is just pressing down on your forehead, like on the top of your head because your crown chakra, you're not letting the light in, it's blocked. So let's see compared to what these dice say based on the astrological sign and what house it's, it's affecting you on and what the cause is. And then we can go from there and figure out how to release it, okay? All right, so we have Taurus in the third house. So I feel that the third house already, it's a saying that you are maybe not speaking up for yourself or you are, with the Taurus energy, you have a lot of passion and Taurus is ruled by Venus. So you've been maybe been wanting to, to express your passion and you're not trusting your intuition, you're on the right path. To doing it i feel like you're you almost with the third and the and the blue it's almost like your third chakra you're not wanting to speak up for yourself and let this love and passion out and so since you've you're not letting it out it's literally like accumulating and just blocking your crown chakra all of your 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 positive intuition so yes it's exactly what i'm getting you you want to say something to somebody and you want to express how you feel and the solid foundation and the offer you want to give them and the and the love and the stability and and the loyalty but you're you you don't you won't speak up for yourself so it's, it's literally depressing you it's literally holding you down okay so i'm going to pull a moonology card and see how can we release this energy I mean, already a good thing to do is meditating and um, getting out of your head. You're too far in your head. That's why you're blocking your crown chakra. You need to trust your intuition. Your intuition is speaking to you so loudly. Okay. And we have your dreams need a practical plan. Okay. So this is exactly what I'm saying. This is a full moon in Taurus. You have Taurus energy. You have communication. You have your crown chakra. You need to put a plan together to speak your truth and get out of this. It will get you, it will literally get you out of this depression. I promise you that. You just need to speak up for yourself. So sit down and do some journaling and maybe do some focus wheels. If you don't know what a focus wheel is, a good idea would be to go look up Abraham Hicks and how to create a focus wheel. And it's a really just a cool way of getting into the vortex, into your turning, tuning into your own intuition, that like tingly feely that you get on your forehead and in your head um, when you're really kind of feeling a lot of passion and ideas coming through and you're like, wow, I feel so enlightened, like when you go out and step out into the sunshine. And it's going to help you put everything once, it, you know, they call it spelling when you're writing because you're spelling. So when you write a manifestation down in a solid format, you will manifest it. Okay. And I think that what I'm seeing in this situation, and this may not work for everybody, please comment below and let me know. Curious to see, but I feel like you need to put together a message or um, your feelings of love or apology or something. And you need to speak your mind to this person and go do it. And you know, you're supported, you have a solid foundation with both of this Taurus energy, and it's going to alleviate any of this um, blocking of your own intuition, any kind of depression or sadness that you've been feeling or confusion, because you need to tune into your own intuition. So I'm going to pull a Beach Balance Life card for you and see. And then um, I know I keep saying this, but I am getting my own Beach Balance Life cards made. Rome wasn't built in a day, unfortunately. Unfortunately, so it's taking a while. So I'm working with these for a while. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The Taurus card popped out. 
And then right underneath it is ask your angels, okay? So you just need to ask your angels and your inner and your inner guidance. This is, oh my gosh, there's so much passion here and a solid foundation of what you want to express. And this like, you know that this is quality. Whatever this is you're, talk, you're thinking about, you know it's gonna, it's going to really improve your life with this connection and what you need to say, you need to express yourself. And if you're having a hard time, it's time to ask your angels, stop trying to do this on your own, get out of your, and getting out of your head and overthinking things because your angels will help open up the crown chakra and you'll be able to follow your intuition. You just need to have trust, okay? Pull one more card of these just to emphasize the point. Also, I'm, I do have offers for personal readings down below in the comment section, so feel free to reach out. I'm about two weeks behind right now, or two weeks out for a reading, so if you wanna get one, definitely uh, make sure you contact me sooner than later. Okay, so. Wave of power, a surge of power, upswing and energy, exhilarating movement, oh my gosh. How good does it feel when you have that exhilarating, if I could pick my card up, ah, when you have this amazing, when your crown chakra is open, you feel exhilarated. You feel that you can really, I mean, you just feel so inspired and you're trusting your intuition and you're just getting all these beautiful messages on what to do with the passion and and the quality things that you want in your life. And I think that you really just need to put your plans write them down. You need to journal what you're going to do. You need to, you need to make a plan and if it's a next move and, you know, or maybe, maybe this is something where, you know, you know that you're supposed to be with somebody, but you're not expressing it and you've been hiding it too long. It's starting to depress you and make you doubt your intuition and doubt your feelings. And that's not where you need to be. You need to be on a solid foundation with all this Taurus energy. So just ask your angels. And that's what I have for you, group five. Please comment below and like this video and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Try to find my water. Oh, it's over there. I just have some editing to do, that's fine. All right, group number six, what is going on? We have the quartz crystal, woo. All right, your chakra that's blocked right now is your, your sacral chakra. So this is the chakra of sexual creative energy and anything that you want and desire, it is right here. This is the chakra that's based basically right below your navel. And so since it's blocked, you're blocking your creativity and you know could be maybe you are just not feeling very sexy at the moment or anything like that let's see where in your life this is hitting and what the influence is and then we'll figure out how to unblock it okay your sixth house of libra so i feel like your day-to-day -day, this is so simple your day-to-day -day routine is out of balance so it's throwing off your libido it's throwing off your creativity because let's face it if you don't have a passion or a desire to create, whether it's sexually or creatively on a project, you feel deflated. And you just need to gain, and the sixth house is your, your day to day and also your health. So that's definitely related to anything that has to do with these like um, reproductive organs and creating a project. And so you just really need to focus in on what it is every day that you need, you could change to really just unblock this energy, okay? And also, really, if you just do some dancing, oh yeah, put on some like sensual music and get those hips flowing, you know what I'm saying? Like work it out, like have some fun. I mean, create a, get that energy flowing. And also, even when you exercise and you do a little bit more of um, intense exercising, like biking or running or anything that's really gonna break that sweat, and get that that libido pumping again and that blood and and all around your system and all the oxygen and sweating and you're like yeah this is i'm feeling hot and sexy this is awesome 
this is where you need it. That's how you're gonna open it up, okay? And let's see. I will pull a card from here to see where, how we can open this up. Do, do, do. A win-win is in the forecast. This is great. This is, this isn't a, this one is a pretty easy reason to figure out what's blocking you. So you just need to get your, you need to <laughs> just make some adjustments to your daily life. And remember, Libra is the scales. So head to wind. So when you're sailing, when you want to gain speed, you literally point the boat up into the wind to fill the sails to go faster, forward, faster. So, and then also Scorpio energy. So Scorpio is the one of the most sexual signs of the zodiac. It's very deep and passionate and dark, and they're just, woo! So I think it's hilarious that you have this, the sacral chakra, and then you have Scorpio energy. Oh, and then I just noticed here, full moon in Libra, a win-win is in the forecast. So your day-to-day -day is about to break through in a win-win situation. Just make sure you're balancing the yin and the yang, the female and the male energy of what you're doing every day. So make sure you're balancing your emotions versus you know your thoughts and your masculine, right? Emotions feminine, thoughts are more masculine so and foundation so you got this this is awesome comment below and let me know i'm so curious oh, i'm excited for you hey <laughs> um also i uh, i do have personal readings i'm offering so it's on the comment section other than that see you next video bye group six All right, group seven, what is going on? We have the rose quartz. Hey, this is actually very heart chakra energy. Love and compassion. Woo, makes my cheeks tingle when I was rubbing that. Woo. Okay, so your chakra that is blocked right now is your throat chakra. So you're not speaking up for yourself or speaking your truth, or maybe you're doing it too much. Let's see where this is in your in your chart and what the influence is, what astrological sign with these dice. And then we'll, we'll go ahead and figure out how to unblock this for you. Okay, here we go. All right, so we have the ninth house of teaching, learning, travel, and spirituality. And then we have Pisces. This is interesting. This is the second time that it's been ninth house in Pisces. Wow. I feel like there's definitely a lot of confusion going on and you really want to speak your truth. And, you know, um, also with the blue of this dice in the ninth house is also speaking, public speaking. So I feel that there's been some emotion and some doubt of what you need to, what you need to express, but I, you know exactly what to express. So let's see how we're going to unlock this for you. Wow. Okay. So these two cards wanted to pop out. Work through your fears. Okay, that makes sense. Public speaking, people have fears of, uh, fears of public speaking. It's actually one of the biggest fears in the world. But that's also speaking up for yourself and work with managers or with your loved ones and drawing boundaries too. So look at the bigger picture. So it looks like you really need to just drum up some courage and speak your truth and and if you have some emotions you want to you want to express, it's time to do it. And also in the ninth house is teaching and learning. And usually with teaching and learning, the student always becomes the teacher and vice versa. It's cyclical, right? So when I see when I see teaching and learning, Pisces is two fish. You have two fish are swimming and they're all in different directions, right? It's like yin and yang. Hey, I'm over here, now I'm over here. So I think you just need to maybe focus your thoughts a little bit more of what you want to express. And I would suggest doing some journaling and also doing outlines. I have a feeling like I'm just getting outlines in my head. So um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Let me know if this is, I feel like this is more of a work thing or I'm not sure. I mean, I don't know why you do an outline for love, but <laughs> who knows, people do, do different things, right? So let me know, I'd be interested. If that's what you're doing, let me know because I might try it out. <laughs> um, okay, so let's see. So take the helm, K2, 
came out. So when you're on, you need to take helm of your own boat. And, um, and then reverberation came out. So think about when you're on the water and you drop, you, you just drop like water and it just re it reverberates out. Same thing with sound. So that's what's, that's what's happening is you don't realize that once you open your third chakra and speak your truth, you're going to have a profound effect on whatever it is you're trying to convey. Okay. Um, let's see. I will pull out one of these cards. Cool. What are you, what are you, what is this? I feel like this is definitely like also spirituality. And then we have falling in love. Woo! I love this card. It's so beautiful. Let's just take a moment and revel in it. <laughs> it's so pretty. I love the sun coming through and the way they're embraced. Oh, so lovely. So kissing the divine in another and also in yourself. I feel that maybe, I don't know, maybe you want to ask someone to marry you or take it to the next level. But just know whatever it is, it's going to have a, a great repercussion. Repercussion. It's, it's going to work out for you. So comment below. Let me know what this is. I'm super excited. You just need to take the helm and it's going to literally transcend space and time. And your words are so powerful and magical, group seven. Oh my gosh. I really can't wait to see what this is. Oh, please comment below. Let me know. I'm so excited for you. Oh, and the falling in love. So looking at the bigger picture, you know, and this also could be the, the beginning of dating too, you know, or beginning of a new endeavor. But every stage of everything, there's always fear to every single level. So I really feel that maybe you're scared that you're falling in love, but you're totally, you just need to look at the bigger picture and speak up. And if you're scared, it's okay to say, hey, I'm a little, I'm a little fearful. And you don't need to say why. You don't have to go into all this explanation, have it all figured out, because that's what conversations are for, especially the throat chakra. It's creating, co-creating with the person you're talking to and you're communicating with, and the conversation will unfold how it's supposed to. Okay, group seven, woo, best of luck. Woo, let me know. I'm offering personal readings, so comments down below, or they're in the, the comments. See you soon, bye.